Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this Shopify website. This website is perfect for t-shirt, clothing, and apparel businesses and it's mobile responsive so it looks perfect on desktop and mobile devices. In this tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. And I'll be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for our website. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen. Then when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm going to click on theme settings, then open color scheme one. I'm going to change this to the color black. Then I'm going to change the text to white. I'm going to change the solid button background to white and the solid button label to black. Then I'm going to change the outline button to white. Click logo and here you can upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend that your logo is in a transparent PNG format and under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. I'm going to open color scheme 2 and I'm going to change the background to black and I'm going to apply a gradient background effect. Then I'm going to change the text to white, the button label to white and the solid button label to black. Click on the announcement bar and I'm going to apply color scheme 2. I'm also going to display the social media icons. Click social media and here you can paste links leading straight to your brand's social media accounts. Those clickable social media icons will display up here on the announcement bar and on the footer of your website. And then I'm going to be removing the announcement bar text but you can leave that in and retitle that if you would like. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. If you want, you can remove that effect right here. You can also select always if you would like the header to remain at the top of your website. Alright, and next I'll be showing you how I designed the slideshow web banners. To design the slideshow section, right here I'm going to click add section to template and I'm going to import a slideshow. Scroll down and you're going to remove this image banner. I'm going to remove the heading and the subheading and I'm going to remove the container. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Then you can retitle the button label, then select a link to a page or a product collection within your website. And I'm going to repeat those steps for the second slide. And for this page, I'm going to apply the outline button style. Click add block and I'm also going to repeat those steps for the third slide. And under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. I've opened up Canva and I'm going to be selecting custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to do for the web banner are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to black. I'm going to open elements, scroll down, and I'm going to be opening the image grids. And I'm going to be applying a three grid. Under upload files, you can upload your brand pictures that you'll be adding to the web banners. Then just drag and drop those onto the image grid. Under elements, I've searched for a faded element and I'm going to be uploading one of these onto the screen. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. And that's going to create a subtle shadow effect for this main image. I'm going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload another faded effect. And that's going to create a subtle ombre effect. You're going to upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then bold and italic. And I'm going to apply the font Futura. I'm going to duplicate this text box, then I'm going to remove the bold and the italic effect. I'm going to upload another text box, and I'm going to put this in uppercase, and also apply the font Glacial Indifference. Click Add Page, then I'm going to search for an abstract element, and I'll be uploading one of these onto the screen. And I'm just going to use this to add a subtle abstract effect to the background. You're going to open frames and then upload a square frame. I'm going to duplicate this and then position this behind the main frame. Then you can drag and drop your pictures onto these frames. Then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to be copying and pasting this bar element. I'm going to upload a text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase, then bold, and then italic. I'm going to duplicate this text box and create a smaller tagline text right below it. Then I'm going to upload another text box and I'm going to put this in uppercase. Then apply the font Futura. Click add page and I'm going to copy and paste these abstract effects. And I'm also going to duplicate this bar element. Upload a photo frame and then I'm going to upload a square shape and position this behind the frame. I'm going to upload a text box then apply the font the signature. 
I'm going to upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Futura. Then I'm going to upload one last text box, put this in uppercase, then bold. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. You're going to download each of these individually in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload the main web banner. Under slide height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Then I'm going to set the pagination style to dots. Then you can upload the remaining web banners. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow web banner. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully pre-made Shopify template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it as a zip file. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that website theme into your account. And it's a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the pre-made Canva templates that you'll see me putting together in this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a set of instructions to help you with installing the website. This website template will save you a ton of time, so all you'd have to do is add your pictures and change the text. That will be linked in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the collection list. You're going to click add section to template and upload a collection list. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Then you can retitle the heading and be sure to enable the view all button if you have more than four collections. Then when you click select collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories that you've chosen to create for each group of product that you sell for your Shopify store. Collections will help to keep your shop and your products organized. I'm going to open typography and I'm going to be changing the main font to Archivo Narrow Bold. Then I'm going to be changing the secondary font to Assistant Bold. And once you're finished, that's how I added the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. So here I'm going to be adding an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then you can insert your text for this section. I'm going to remove the second button label. Then you can retitle the button label and insert a link. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business. Then put this in uppercase, then bold. And then I'm going to apply the font Futura. I'm going to upload another text box. Put this in uppercase. Then I'm going to upload an image grid. Then you can drag and drop a picture. And next I'm going to download this page. Then you can upload that background image here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm going to apply the fixed background position. Above this section, I'm going to apply a rich text and I'm going to remove the text and the button label. Then I'm going to change this to color scheme 3. Open color scheme 3 and I'm going to be setting the background to white and the text to black. Then I'm going to duplicate this section and move this second one right below the About Us section. That will create a subtle border for the About Us section. Once you're done, that's how I designed the About Us section. And next, I'll be showing you how I designed the Shop Qualities section. So here I'm going to be adding a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading and the button label, then remove the column background and set the column alignment to center. Then under heading, you can type in each quality that your shop has to offer. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can put a mini description to match. Here on Canva, you're going to click add page. I'm going to upload a circle shape. Then I'm going to duplicate this and apply a border. Then I'm going to search for a subtle faded circle. And I'm going to be uploading one of these to create a subtle ombre effect. Then you can search for icons to match each of those shop qualities and add them to the page. I'm going to duplicate this page and add the remaining icons. And then you can download each of these icons. And here on Shopify, you can upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. Once you're done, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the featured collection. So right here, I'm going to be adding a featured collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section and be sure to enable the view all button if your collection has more than four products. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured collection. 
Also, if you are a beginner to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with creating products, connecting your Shopify payments, reading your analytics page, and more, my Shopify basics guide is now available. This is a detailed guide I've put together that includes everything you'll need to know from starting your Shopify account to launching your store. In this guide, I've included a collection of video tutorials, written text, and live examples. That way you understand each section. That will be linked in my description box and be sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off your order. To add the customer reviews section, right here I'm going to be adding a multi-column. Under heading, you can retitle the heading. Then I'm going to remove the button label. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center. Under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the customer's review and I'd also recommend putting their name. I'll be using this text as an example, but you can also paste a link leading straight to the product they left the review on. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the customer reviews section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. So here I'm going to be adding an image banner. I'm going to remove this second button label, then you can retitle the main button label, and I'm going to be applying the outline button style. Then you can retitle this section. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page, then I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. And I'm going to position this behind the image grid. I'm going to duplicate this. Then you can drag and drop your pictures. I'm going to search for another faded element. Then position this behind this second image. Then I'm going to upload a text box, click effects, then apply the lift effect. Then I'm going to change the font to baby's new and put that in bold. Next, you can go ahead and download this page. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that's how I design the second web banner section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the email signup and the blog post section. So here I'm going to be importing an email signup. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. Then I'm going to be adding a multi row. I'm going to be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. And these will be your two displayed blog posts. For the container color scheme, I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. You can type in the title for the blog post. And you can also put a mini description and a caption to match. Then you can title the button label and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload images to represent the covers for the blog post. And once you're finished, that's how I added the email signup and the blog post section. Lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the Instagram post section. So here I'm going to be adding an image banner. And I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Then below this section, I'm going to be importing a rich text. Then you can retitle this button label. I'm going to be applying the outline button style. Then you can paste the link leading straight to your brand Instagram. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to upload a text box and I'm going to apply the font, the signature. Upload another text box, apply the font Futura, then put this in uppercase. I'm going to duplicate this text box and create a smaller text right below it. Then I'm going to upload an Instagram icon and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this and position it to the back. And I'll be designing these frames in a stair step pattern. Then you can upload the Instagram posts that you'll be featuring and drag and drop them onto those frames. I'm going to upload one last text box. And here you can type in your brand's Instagram username. I'm going to apply the font Futura and put this in italic. Then you can download this page. Next, you're going to upload that into the image banner on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and here is the finished t-shirt Shopify website. And don't forget, this Shopify theme template is available on my website in case you just don't have time to design your store. This is a fully done for you Shopify theme template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it as a zip file. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that website theme into your account. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the pre-made Canva templates that you've seen me creating in this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva that will be linked in my description box. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.